So, Ryan, my first question, it's got to be about Harvard, but on on two fronts, right? Uh, Number one, just the experience of going there. But number two, the opportunity to play for your dad, um, to be a coach's son. I know that's always a different type of player in sports. Let let me just begin with the the experience that you had at Harvard. Um, Do a lot of people bring that up when they first meet you? Yeah, yeah. Um, Some people joke about it and say it's more of a surprise that I went to Harvard, if anything. But uh, (laughs) It was uh, definitely a great time, and obviously having my dad there uh, was definitely something special. I learned a lot. Uh, I'm still learning a lot from him, but uh, he uh, was a father away from the rink and a coach definitely at the rink and sometimes a coach away from the rink a little bit too, but uh, we did our best to divide that, and uh, that was a good thing for me and him. I'm saying this as a a former coach's son myself too. Uh, It seems like they always have to try a little bit harder. Is that fair? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because, I mean, he's going to make examples out of you. Uh, to, he doesn't want to pick on anybody else, so he doesn't feel too bad to answer them to you. So. Um, as a kid, and when he was in the NHL, uh, you must have had quite the lifestyle, quite the opportunity to see a lot of things growing up. I'm curious, like, what does your mind instantly go back to about the cool things or the important things that you observed? Um, for me, uh, there's a lot of different things. I mean, I, I one of the guess, things, I guess, is, is how much of a business it is. Um, we, I guess I moved around uh, quite a bit, more more than the average kid uh, did growing up. Uh, but he was fortunate enough to play with a lot of really great hockey players. And for me, uh, I'm seeing guys and meeting guys like Paul Correa, Timo Solani, uh, Brett Hull, Mike Madano. Uh, the list can go on and on. Uh, Ray Bork. There's guys that I just... Uh, Got to Mark Messier, guy, guys I'll keep on thinking of, uh, but just I got to watch and, and kind of know as a kid, and uh, that's something I really hold special, uh, close to my close to myself and is a, is a special thing for me. Now, you missed a big name there because there's a photo of it, right? The photo of you and Joe oh. Thornton <laughs> on the Bruins bench. I mean, uh, holy smokes, that, that says two things. Number one, how, how young you are, but obviously how elder uh, Joe Thornton is. Just amazing you guys have, have been NHLers combined in the last, what, four seasons or so. Um, just, just curious, I mean, do you even remember that photo being taken? And- no. No, I don't, I don't remember that at all, actually. Um, <laughs> but I do remember my dad having some of the Bruins guys over when he was, I think my dad was kind of a vet at that point, and he was – uh, up there in his years played and he was uh, doing a good job of making sure the younger guys had a place to, to hang out and, and there was a couple times I remember where he had some uh, big names I, Jumbo might have been one of them but guys like Patrice Bergeron and mm-hmm. those type of names that came to our house when they were uh, young guys around probably my age or even younger so it's definitely cool to see that I know that was like ideal timing for you to cross paths with Joe back then. Unfortunately, you're not crossing paths with him again here in, in San Jose but like, what, what does that make you think about regarding him and just that incredible longevity i mean it's 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 unbelievable i mean you can't really put it into words it's um you see a guy like jumbo and you see his attitude and and i I never got the chance to play with him but you just hear about how uh how great he is at the rank and how live and how he's been able to do that for such a long long time um I mean, it's definitely something special, and and you don't find that in a lot of guys. It's something you can't teach for one, and uh, and I think he he brings that presence, uh, that veteran presence, but also uh, a guy that's a leader, and also is a guy that brings a, a fun energy, and that that's hard to find.